guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com and this is the unboxing video for the Celio Redfly C8N. Now the Celio Redfly has been around for a long time and we're going to take a different approach to this video series. The Redfly is essentially a companion for your Windows mobile device. So you plug in your device to the Redfly or you use Bluetooth and you get a very large screen, you get a full keyboard and a mouse trackpad, whether you're running on a Windows Mobile non-touchscreen device or touchscreen device. And when the Red Flies first came out, a lot of people were kind of excited, but, but a little bit sketchy because the price was about $400, which seemed kind of crazy having to buy this terminal in addition to buying a, a mobile device. And the idea was that you would buy the Red Fly instead of a laptop, but then netbooks came around. And Celio lowered the price of the Red Fly. They are now between $200 and $300, but now you can get a netbook for between $200 and $400. And so the question is, has become, why would you buy a Red Fly? We can just get a netbook, run the full version of Windows you know, XP or Windows 7 or, or Linux, and have an even better experience. So in this three-part video series, we're going to do first an unboxing, then we're going to talk about the Red Fly experience using a few different devices, and finally we're going to have a bit of a conversation about the utility of getting a Red Fly versus getting a netbook, and whether there is even a, a, a benefit to getting a Red Fly and not getting a netbook. So that's the approach we're going to take. Let's get through the unboxing. All right, and there are two models, as I mentioned. There's the C8N and then the C7. The C8N is the higher end version, which has a larger screen, a larger battery, and we're going to talk about why it has a battery. So basically, with the Red Fly, you get this full keyboard, you get a screen, and you can actually upscale the resolution of your phone to 1024 by, I believe, 768, or some variation of that, which, if you think about it, is kind of, kind of cool, right? So you have a Windows mobile device, like an HTC Snap, and you can s suddenly expand the resolution to this QVGA device to something that's much, much greater. So let's take a look at the back and see what we've got here. Now this shows you kind of how both versions compare. We have the C8N on the right here and the C7 on the left. The C8N has an 8-inch screen. The 7 has a 7, obviously. Uh, there is a 4,500 milliamp hour battery in the C8N and there's a 2000 milliamp hour battery in the C7. Now what that allows you to do is actually charge your device while it's hooked up to the Red Fly. So the battery is being used to power the Red Fly and it's being used to recharge your device, which is actually pretty cool. And here are the resolutions that we can export to. On the 7 we can go to 800 by 480, which is pretty standard. A lot of Windows Mobile phones does that. We're 800 by 600. Then on the premium model you can get all the way up to 1024 by 768, which is kind of wild um, as you'll see. We're going to go through that, and then we have a video in port on the C8N, and the color is black, obviously. So let's take a look at the, um, at the Red Fly. So we'll put the device to the side for a sec, and we have some accessories here. This looks like a media cable, which will allow you to um, connect the Red Fly to an external video source, such as a projector or a monitor or a TV or something like that, which is kind of cool. I'm wondering if it, it scales out in the full resolution, the 1024 by 768 or only to the maximum resolution of the device. We'll have to check for that. Let's see what we get over here in the side. It's probably going to be a power adapter. Yep, just to charge the battery. And that looks like that's it in the box some other documentation and a quick start guide which shows you how to use the thing. All right. All right, so let's look at the Red Fly. The Red Fly is not surprisingly about the size of a netbook. It's got a rubbery coating on the outside and let's take a look inside. It looks just like a netbook, except the keyboard's actually a little bit smaller. So let's compare this to the HP Mini netbook, which actually goes for about $300 now, pretty much the same price as the, uh, the Redfly. I'm running out of room here on the table. So basically, we have um, a 10-inch screen here and an 8-inch screen here. In terms of size, the... Uh, the Red Fly is actually smaller than the, net, the netbook in terms of surface area, but if we look at depth, the, uh, they're about the same. In terms of heaviness, uh, the, they actually feel very similar. We'll have to check back with exactly which device is uh, lighter, but the keyboard's definitely smaller. Let's zoom out a little bit. 
But the keyboard's definitely smaller and the trackpad is about the same size in terms of surface area. A little bit wider here, a little bit uh, taller here with buttons on the left and the right and that sort of thing. So next, coming up, we are going to actually talk about using the Redfly with a mobile device. And as I said in the last video, we're going to talk about the utility of getting a Redfly versus paying about the same price for the netbook. We're also going to talk a little bit about what the company is doing to bring down the price of the of the Redfly, so you don't have to make this decision. Decision: Should I get a Redfly or should I get a netbook? We'll be back soon with more on the Celio Redfly. That's it for now.